Now to a new study showing shingles vaccination may reduce dementia risk. This as dementia cases are predicted to double over the next few decades. Director of Park Avenue Neurology and author of Spectrum of Hope, New and Optimistic Approach to Alzheimer's, Dr. Gayatri Devi joins us now with more. Doctor, good morning to you. It's great to have you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So first, tell us about this new study. What are we learning from it? It's a fantastic study. It's over... A quarter million people and they found that in people 79 and older if you have the shingles vaccine it reduces your risk for developing dementia from of any kind Alzheimer's vascular dementia any kind of dementia by 20% Wow, that's a huge amount and it's maybe related to anti-inflammatory properties of the shingles vaccine and it what's really nice about it too is that women benefit more so, and because there are more women who are affected with dementia, it's particularly important. I mean, this is so fascinating. And you were telling me that anyone at any age could get the shingles. Yes. So when should we be getting that vaccine? Generally, the, the recommendations are you want to get your vaccine after the age of 50. What's nice about the shingles vaccine is you get it once and you're done. You don't have to keep getting it, you know, later down the road. Um, and it's a great way to prevent dementia. You know, 50% of cases of dementia can be prevented by lifestyle changes, by doing things like getting the shingles vaccine. So why not do it? Why not protect your brain, keep it healthy? So then why wait till you're 50? Are there ways to reduce your risk earlier? Absolutely. In terms of reducing risk for dementia, some easy things to do is sleep a lot. You know, that's amen. that's yeah. <laughs> amen, right? Um, eat things that are healthy for your heart. Anything that's healthy and good for your heart is also good for your brain. Oh, Aerobic exercise, 45 minutes, three times a week. Uh, making sure you take care of your vision and your hearing. That's important. Um, and keeping yourself really active socially, um, cognitively really important for preventing dementia. And, and sleep, it, it's, I, I mean, I know you just mentioned it, but that is incredibly important, making sure you're getting that eight hours or more, right? Yeah, sleep, it really, people stress out. Some people can't get eight hours, some people less than eight hours, but really what you want to do is to get enough sleep that you feel rested in the morning, and sleep's really important for your brain sanitation system to remove all the toxic substances that accumulate during the day. Dr. Devi, you are such a pleasure. Thank you for this. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me on.